I was extremely fortunate that I was able to spend a little bit of time in Havana, Cuba. One of the things that first struck me is the light. The light in this city was like no other. And it always strikes me every time I go to a different city that I've never visited. But I was really curious more about the people, their art, how it was reflected, it was an island, and yet it was so repressed and so cut off from the world. What would it be like? We were directed very carefully through the cities of Havana on a tour. Um, and I think we were shown specific things for specific reason. We were brought to a distillery with the rum and the coffee and the cigars. However, we were able to see parts of the old city and parts of the new city. We were also taken to a restaurant where Ernest Hemingway uh, visited very often and there was a band there with live music and these people were just so full of joy and so much fun. The music really kind of got to us and we were very fortunate to be able to visit a museum um, of artists, of graphic design artists, and since I was a graphic designer to start, uh, that was near and dear to my heart. A lot of the pieces, all the pieces actually were all handmade. Um, and what really struck me more than anything else was the color on certain ones. Uh, they were very striking. Um, I got to meet uh, the artists and got to buy a small piece. Um, he was very proud of his work. His name is Carlo. And I was really glad just to come away with a little piece. And I was also uh, really fortunate to be able to sit and draw in one of the squares and reflect on the people and the history and the culture, and especially the history between our two countries. Um, I'm gonna just concentrate on the joy of the color and the people. And uh, I was very, very fortunate to be able to visit there.